Hi everybody, my name is Trevor Spires with HowToNSX.com and today I've got a real exciting topic to cover. I want to show you how to configure Avi Networks or the NSX Advanced Load Balancer to perform auto scaling of your load balancing fabric in your data center or cloud environment. Okay. Uh, I'll show you specifically uh, in my vSphere environment how it's done, but it's, it, this principles apply in other environments as well. And this is really like a, a, at the core of the value prop of something like a software defined load balancer, right? The ability to auto scale, um, to expand up and down the amount of throughput that a VIP or a set of VIPs is capable of on demand without any administrator interaction is uh, pretty compelling stuff. So next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to configure it. Uh, give you uh, some, some details, tips and tricks on how it works, and hopefully it's something that, that you could look into using in, in your environment. So uh, before I dig into the configuration, I would like to show you um, two quick documents that uh, you'll want to read if you want to choose to do auto scaling for your um, service engines in Avi. So you're gonna wanna check out this document, um, just called Auto Scale Service Engines. And um, what you're going to want to do is read through that. It talks about the different scaling methods, right? Um, the thing I'll point out here is there's automated scaling and there's manual scaling. I recommend um, most customers should probably just do manual scaling, right? Auto scale is really an advanced use case. So read through this, the caveats, the differences before you choose to do auto scaling in your environment. And then, of course, this other doc, and very important, how to configure figure auto rebalance. Auto rebalance is the feature that allows you, us to do auto scaling in Avi Networks. So this is the doc that walks us through how to configure that, okay? Um, one thing I, I, I'll point out in this doc, and, and I may not come back to it again, the one thing you should know is today, as of version 20.1 of Avi, there are four different criteria for you to configure auto scaling events based off of. Number one is CPU. That's the default, actually. It's what I'm going to use in this environment. And um, that's a pretty good one for a lot of customers, but you might want to maybe scale off of a different metric. Right? Maybe you want to scale off of megabits per second, or maybe the number of open connections would be a scaling event for you. This is kind of this is kind of specific to your application, really. Um, this is really going to be specific to the software you're writing, which one of these makes the most sense. So you know, observe your environment how it behaves and you can make decisions for auto scaling based off of that. So I just wanted to show you those two docs briefly. Um, now I'm going to show you how to configure this thing. All right, the important part, and then I'll demo, demo for you uh, so you can see it working in action. Okay, I'm going to actually navigate away from my applications into infrastructure. The Really the only thing that you need to do as a prerequisite for this, other than the basic install and configuration of Avi and various clouds, is going to be, you're going to need an uh, service engine group. I've gone ahead and named mine auto scale dash SEG. Uh, you got to configure that because all of the auto scaling configuration is done on this auto scale service engine group or, or on the service engine group object, whatever you name yours, right? So you just got to have that created. That's really the only, um, only prerequisite other than you need to have your, your configuration, your deployment in write mode. Um, so that way you we can automate the scale in and out events, okay? So um, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back to my applications. That's it <laughs> for the configuration. You need to have that. And then of course you need to configure a VIP or two to generate traffic on, um, but you just need to have your service engine group. Everything else is gonna be done in the CLI. So um, right now what I'm gonna do is, I'm SSH into my Avi controller right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the shell this is where you do any configuration of your Avi environment. So uh, once I'm in the shell and I've authenticated successfully, I'm just going to run the command show service and then show service engine group auto scale. And so I want to get the configuration for my service engine group in my environment. And this is case sensitive, by the way. Okay. So make sure that you have the uh, case uh, correct based on whatever you named your, your service engine group in the GUI, okay? So I'm gonna run that show command, and what we're gonna see is Avi's gonna spit back a 
bunch of config parameters, okay? Some of these matter to the auto scale. Some of these are just kind of standard config options for the service engine group. What I've done is I, I've copied and pasted um, a condensed version of these commands so you can see the, uh, the output rather, so you can see the settings that are important to the auto scale configuration, okay? Um, there's not a lot of really important settings. Really, uh, these are the only ones that would be required. And in fact, even this one is, is kind of um, optional here. I'll, I'll go ahead and get that out of there. So what you have to do to configure it is this. First of all, um, this is always false by default. You're going to need to make this true by running the auto rebalance command. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay. Um, next, you need to determine the auto rebalance criteria. Again, by default, it's CPU but you can do megabits per second, you can do packets per second, connections, uh, open connections, things like that, okay? So that's where you would set that. This gets a little hairy, so just always keep this show service engine group command in your back pocket because as you're configuring and playing around with this, one thing you might find is um, you could have multiple criteria for the auto rebalance criteria. It's only gonna accept one, and it's gonna only accept the one that's on the top of the list. So you need to make sure that you kind of prune that list to be the number one criteria is the one that you want to use, okay? That's something that you'll, not well documented, but you'll learn as you're configuring this, okay? Second, um, we need to set the capacity per SE. So this really is where you set the threshold, kind of, to make the auto rebalance happen. For me, I've got 100 in there because I'm using CPU, 100% of CPU makes sense to me, um, but you can set that to whatever you would like, and you, you would probably want to change that if you were doing, again, um, you know, bandwidth. You're going to have a much different number here than 100. You might have 1,000 for a gig of throughput, for example. Okay. And uh, the auto rebalance interval is not super important. I have its mine turned way down, so I can demo this quickly for you today. Uh, the other two, and these are, these, really, these are the magic five right here. These are the five settings that really matter. These two are very tricky, okay? So, um, oh, one, one more thing about the capacity setting. You can also have more than one capacity setting, but again, we really are gonna accept one. So make sure that you run that command to, to, to review this and then remove any spare um, capacity per SE lines that are in your config, okay? These two guys are a little tricky. Max CPU usage and min CPU usage, well, no matter what you use, right? whether it's auto rebalance on CPU or megabits per second or connections or whatever, this, this name is always min CPU usage, max CPU usage, right? Pretty poor naming for now. I think that they're working on fixing this at Avi, but um, just know that if I have my threshold set to be megabits per second, this is gonna apply not to CPU, it's gonna apply to megabits per second, even though the name of this field is max CPU usage, okay? So that's what you need to know. Now, in terms of what these do is, you know, these are basically the min and the max thresholds for you to trigger a scale in event and then the scale out event, right? So this is where this would say, for me at 80% CPU, I'm gonna scale out, and then at 50% uh, CPU over a certain period of time, I'm gonna scale back in, okay? Not, nothing too crazy. So, um, what else? I think that's it for uh, this field. The only other thing I want to show you before I actually you know, just run that command in the, in the CLI is there's some great example configurations for how you would do this on the how to configure auto rebalance using Avi CLI page. I would recommend you follow this. The only problem with these example configs is they miss one very important command, which I'm going to show you right now. That very important command is this. So. Instead of running the show service engine group command, what I'm going to do is configure service engine group. This is going to pop me into a configuration um, prompt for that service engine group. And this is where I would run that auto rebalance command. That is going to turn on the auto scale feature for this service engine group. And that should be all you have to do uh, to make this thing actually work. But um, you also may want to go in and edit some of the defaults because by default it's CPU. You might want to change that to something else for your environment. That's where you would go in and run these other commands that um, are listed here to get that customized configuration that you need. Okay, so 
Um, this is the one that you got to run. Go ahead and run the auto rebalance command uh, to turn it on and then make any adjustments to your config. And that's actually it, okay? Um, outside of turning it on, adjusting the config to your auto scale thresholds, that's all you have to do in the CLI, all right? After that, you should be fully operational and ready to auto scale. Okay, so now's the fun part. Now I'm going to generate a little bit of traffic on this um, VIP so you can see that auto scale event get triggered and take place. So I'm in my virtual service here, my VIP. You can see there's no traffic right now. So what I'm going to do is I, ha I use this uh, bench marking cool tool called the Adobe Bench. I think it's Adobe Bench. No, Apache, Apache Bench. <laughs> um, and Apache Bench. I mean, it's just a CLI tool where you can generate some traffic. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, if you're testing this out, hey, I would recommend this tool. I had not used any traffic gens before this. It's pretty easy to use. Okay. So I'm going to generate some traffic here. What we should see in a moment is we should see um, a spike. Aha. So now what's happening is I'm hitting this VIP with a lot of traffic, which in turn means that my service engine and this is i've actually switched over to the view of my service engine itself my service engine cpu is getting hammered right you can see the cpu has spiked way up and that's good because i, I want that to happen because i want to show you this thing auto scaling right so that's going to happen for not a lot of time only 60 seconds is the threshold that i have set and we should oh is that it let's see see a little event pop up ah check that out right this little purple event is that automated scaling of it, right? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything other than generate traffic. And now automatically it's going to start creating the SE because it, it triggered that event based on the CPU utilization for the service engine. Pretty cool, right? Um, so I have this plugged into a vSphere cloud. So if I take you over to my vCenter, what we should see is this. Look at that. Automatically, completely hands off. All I did was turn on the auto scale feature and, and change some configurations to, to customize it for my environment. And now this is a full fledged auto scaling, uh, load balancing fabric, and it's going to scale out by deploying additional load balancers for us, listening on that VIP without any user interaction necessary whatsoever. So I'm going to let this continue to deploy. This is probably going to take you know, two to three minutes to deploy and come online, and then I'll, I'll come back and show you the uh, the final result here in, in, in just a second. Awesome. So uh, it looks like my service engine, it, it just finished deploying in vCenter, so now we're going to power it on, and the service engine is going to kind of call home to the controller to get its configuration and everything. So that's going to continue happening. I'll take us back over um, to my VIP. And this is, a, you know, kind of a cool time to take a look at the analytics, right? I mean, uh, I went from a flat, no traffic VIP to uh, a VIP that, you know, it, it has quite a bit of data here that I can reference about the transactions that are coming in and out of the environment. I can see end-to-end -end timing, I can see open connections, closed connections, and the amount of throughput, right? So these are all those cri those other criteria, especially throughput and open connections um, that you could set the scaling event based off of, you know, other than maybe CPU, for example. So I can see now uh, the created SE uh, event is complete. So now it's just gonna take a few more minutes and then we'll actually be forwarding traffic across that service engine. That is really all that I wanted to show you all today. I wanted to show you how easy it is to have a, a fully elastic um, auto scaling load balancing fabric in your environment. Now, I showed you how to configure auto scaling. As you saw, it literally is just one command and then you can customize it a little bit. Um, it maybe takes somebody three minutes to configure the auto scale capability. Uh, so in addition to that, I mean, deploying Avi itself in a VMware environment like this, I got my I got up and running in my lab in about 10 minutes. So you can not only deploy an enterprise load balancer with auto scaling, but you can do all of that in a very, very short period of time leveraging this tool. So um, it's pretty compelling stuff, folks. Pretty compelling stuff. 
Um, we can see up here, I've got a status, I'm still scaling out. Um, so I, I'm gonna let that scale continue, but the only other thing I'll leave you with is this. I mentioned that there are you know, a couple of different ways to scale your service engines, right? Oh, look at this. The, the, the scale out is complete. Uh, it says it's complete, so I, I'm hoping that means I actually have um, my new service engine and it's forwarding traffic now. We'll check that in a second. Um, but, ah, this is what I wanted to show you, right? I showed you how to automatically scale. Um, you can also manually scale. And in fact, I would say for 95% of the customers that I work with, uh, manually scaling is going to work just fine. Instead of going in and um, editing the CLI to have some scaling event, all you would need to do is come in and click scale in or scale out, and then we would spin up or down service engines on demand um, based on that administrative action there. So that's really what it goes down to. Do you want to come in and automatically trigger it um, or have Avi just automatically scale it on its own, or do you want to come in and manually have a little more control over that scaling event? So uh, the final thing I'm going to do is take us back to the dashboard, do a little drop down. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, you see here I've got two service engines. I started with one, now I have two. I've doubled my throughput, completely hands off, based on the demand that my application is generating. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, I actually made this video as a result of somebody in the comment section of my YouTube page. I'm just reaching out. Oh, look, it, it scaled back down for us. All right, we got to see it scale in and out. <laughs> um, I actually made this video upon request. So uh, I, I always ask, hey, if you have a suggestion for a video, let me know. This one, uh, somebody in the comments section said, hey, I'd like to see how to configure auto scale. There you have it. Okay, so um, I hope this has been helpful for somebody. And uh, if there's any other type of video or walkthrough you'd like to see, um, just comment or or, or, or reach out to me on LinkedIn or, or however you can contact me. Um, and if it's an interesting topic, I will add it to my to-do list and hopefully uh, get it out there in the world pretty soon. So uh, thank you for watching my video as always and happy load balancing. All right. Bye everybody.